Folks, this is what water in the sky looks like. We're pumping this water over 25 feet tall. This is going up this pipe. You see up there, coming all the way down here. Here I got it connected to a hose. Down here, well, I have a half a pound of pressure for every one foot of height, and I have me lots and lots and lots and lots of water down here, which I can move anywhere around the farm that I need to. So, we use those two little pumps there, two little 60 watt pumps. They're connected to what could be a fish tank or a storage tank, put into a pressure chamber, and I can pressurize and have 600 gallons an hour. At 600 gallons an hour, I'm standing equal to the fish tank at the bottom. That's over six feet tall, 600 gallons an hour with one 60 watt pump. If I wanna go that 25 feet high, I turn on the second pump and I can pump it all the way up to 25 feet tall. 25 feet tall, and with that, with two 60 watt pumps, I got water. Hi, I'd like to show you something Dr. Timmons shared with me in his book on recirculating aquaculture. And that is, if you have a fish tank, and this was the grade level here, and if you were to dig a hole four feet deep and put a cap at the bottom, the water that sits here is there, it comes to here. I then take one of our patent pending pump, air pumps, and I can with 60 watts of power, this is air going down this wand here, I can put 60 watts of air in here and I get 1,200 gallons an hour coming out of here. You wanna learn more? www.allamontagardens.com. Hi, wanted to share with you what we do with solar. Everybody's talking about sustainability. You gotta be efficient. That's why we're using air to pump the water. I use much less energy by running an air pump. Most of our pumps, our air pumps run from four watts to 80 watts in that range. And that's kind of range, I can run one pump, one pump like this, a 60 watt pump. This is a 140 watt solar panel, 12 volt. I can run a 12 volt pump, 40 watts, 40 liters to 50 liters per minute, and I can pump an awesome amount of water. Most of our pumps run between 200 to 1200 gallons per hour for our aquaponic system. I wouldn't think of doing a system that could not be run on solar. Folks, this is something you wouldn't want to probably try at home. This is rocks. A whole handful of rock. I'm going to take them and dump them in to this system here. And you're going to see the rocks coming down, going through, coming all the way over, and coming up in my pump. They're going to come all the way up and all the way around making a complete circle. This is a water reservoir, and you see I'm pumping it up here. See the rocks pumping up there? I pump them up, they'll come down, and they'll come through this system and go round robin. Try that with your little mechanical submersible pump sometime. No wear, no tear, and no clogging. And how's the aeration, folks? You see how I'm on aeration? You can zoom in tight here and just show that. Bubblification, we call it. Coming all the way down, going around. This is my air supply coming in here, coming down, coming over, going up, and going around. I'm gonna show you a second one, which is this pump. I'm gonna switch it here. This pump, I'll put it in here for you. I'm now sending the air this way. I'm sending around here, and this is our pipe and a pipe pump. This one, the air comes in here, goes down, goes in to inject it into the center part, and then it, air and water goes up there. If you could zoom up there for me, I think you'd be quite amazed at the bubblification and the agitation and the aeration you're picking up. Now then we come back to our reservoir, we drop it into our aerator. This is a patent pending aerator, and we aerate this. So you see that's a solid wall of bubbles? Those bubbles go all the way to the base, and this is circulating in this direction. We have one more air pump to show you. I'll flip over here and show you this one. And I'm gonna send it over here. Now I'm gonna send the air in this green hose around here, down to there. I'm gonna bring it into this chamber. I'm gonna release the air, 
and I'm gonna aerate it and you'll see it coming up and moving around. I'd like to point out, the pumps have no moving part whatsoever, what you see going on here. Over here, this one is a very, very unique pump. It has a check valve in it. I can pump the water down to zero or to the top of the pipe. Once the water goes in the check valve, I can pump it up. Anyway, thought I'd share that with you. We'll have more to show you later.